All right, let's have a look at song number three. A um, little bit happier, and it's, it's in a major key. That's why it's in the key of C instead of A minor or D minor, like song one and two. So in the beginning, you have these weird looking rests, right? One, two, three beats of rest. So we're coming in on beat four. So it starts one, two, three, four. Mm. The first note is comes in on beat four. So here is song number three. One, two, three, four. note you might remember from uh, our Frederick Node book string 5 fret 3 is a C okay so let's go through the names of these notes G C C C D B B B C A A A B G and remember that G three beats because it's a dotted half note E F F F G E E E to look at the difference for the high and low G there, right? F, A, G, B, A, C, B, 2, 3, 4, C, B, D, F, E, G, F, 2, 3, 4, then our high A, A, E, G, C, String uh, four fret two E E E G F F F A G G G. Hmm. Two low G's and one high. C. I'm sorry. B C C. High C followed by a low C. You find this in music a lot. Uh, th that means an octave apart when you have two notes that are the same letter name but one is high and one is low, they are an octave apart, meaning one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octa, octopus, octave, eight arms on an octopus, eight notes apart with the, um, uh, with the octave in, in music also. So there you go, you have all of the names of your notes. Uh, uh, you know how to start the song, you know where your dotted note is, uh, half notes, get to two beats, right? And the whole notes get four beats, count your beats. Make sure you understand where there's a low E, high E, low F, high F, okay? And if you're not sure, just hit me with questions anytime and we'll get you fixed up. All right, thanks for watching. Practice hard. We'll see you next time. Thank you.